Hello everyone, today I would like to film an updated photo art collection video. I did one, I believe, in February last year, so it's kind of been about a year and a half um, since we updated last time. I don't have as large collection as most of the other channels, so that's why I don't feel my collection changes much to film like every couple months or even every year. However, I watched back to my old video and I realized I actually changed quite a lot and collect a lot more compared to where I was last year. So I figured it would be a really interesting video just to film and show where my collections are today. So yeah, without further ado, I do have four binders total. I believe it was two or three binders previously. I can't really remember, but I definitely make a progression. I have to get some extra binders for my collection. Okay, so we can move on to the first one. This little green one is my girl group binder. I am unfortunately not the biggest girl group collector. I do love girl groups. I stand a lot of girl groups, but in terms of collecting, I kind of limited myself to only a few. Um, so this will be relatively small in comparison, but I still would love to show. So the first group in this binder is Everglow. Honestly, we just need a comeback. I don't know what to say, but we really need a comeback. I have caught up to date to my Everglow collection. So the member I collect is Miss Onda. She's so adorable. I'm not gonna point out every single card I have, but I do collect her only the, um, the album photo cards. So I have a full collection of everything that uh, Everglow has been released up to date. Um, yep, so this last page is Return of the Girl. Um, and I did also have the 10th card in the back because we have 10 card, which is always weird um, and has some extra posters. Um, so that, yep, that's not a very large collection. Um, I did consider collecting her non-album stuff, but Everglow non-album are kind of hard and expensive. So I'm just happy to stick with the album cards and excited for the comeback. There have been so many rumors, but honestly, <laughs> Please just uh, confirm, okay? So the second group I have here is Nine Muses. I didn't collect him technically. I just kept my pose. I did end up trading, so my bias is Irulan. Um, but honestly, at the stage, I biased every single member. I love them as a group. And it's basically non-existing for their trading and selling community. So I just kept whatever I have right now, so I have a Gui and Aerolin, and that's basically all I have, very sad section. I do want to give them a dedicated section because Nine Muses as a group is probably my favorite girl group, so I do want to dedicate a section even though this is really sad. And there were rumors that they might have a reunion and comeback. I'm really hoping that's true, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and that's all I have. And then the third girl group I collect is Ice One, and the member I collect is Knuckle. I believe this collection was completed even last time, so I'm just gonna flip through it really quick. I collect every album photo card and Kino card for Knuckle, as well as a few non albums. She is absolutely adorable. But yeah, that's old album collections, and for non album, I didn't collect everything. Obviously, Ice One has millions of non album cards, um, but I did chose a few that I really love and adore. So we have some non-album section. Um, these aren't in any particular order. I just put them in as what I like. And some larger inclusions and Kino cards. So as one does have these little four pocket larger postcard style Kino cards. Um, I didn't buy the Kinos, but I collected, um, I guess I joined group orders or purchased some of the Kino cards included. So we did end up having the full Kino and this was their uh, square postcard from their albums and a few Japanese stuff. Um, so not the biggest as one collection, but I definitely consider this relatively um, closed. Um, it's just one of the retired. I have some random stuff right there as well. Uh, I do still keep tag with Nako's activity in Japan, but unfortunately, I think Japanese stuff are harder to access in general. So obviously we have Macar Japan. It's not like super, but I just don't follow AKB or HKT48 that close, I guess. Uh, and the last but not least, I have this just blank page with miscellaneous section. Um, f honestly, for miscellaneous, really just shouting from Kepler. I don't collect Kepler albums, and I don't plan to collect shouting fully, but I do like a few of her cards. Um, these are the two I just I was able to get. I might get a few more, but these are ten tentative fillers. It's not 
it doesn't mean anything specifically. I can grab her cards cheap or I can trade for hearts if I can, but not like very serious. Um, but I do uh, really, really adore her. I do adore Kefler. And yeah, that's my girl group binder. Relatively short, but we can move on to the next one. Okay, the second binder we have is my first boy group binder, basically all the non-old boy group that I collect. Um, I reordered, or I rearranged this binder kind of from um, how much I collect, I guess. So the starting is on and off. Um, they were kind of on the back of this binder because they were less active, but I definitely believe they'll be more active now. And they have got rocked my buy list a lot as well. Probably my favorite boy group outside my three olds. So really excited to continue my on for collection. Um, my buy list for on and off is Janus. Or I do have all his album cards, um, or at least trying to collect all his album cards. Um, these are his complete card from storage on off off. Uh, unfortunately, the first press card are just impossible to find <laughs> in good price. So I kept just the second price, which I'm totally fine with. They are still amazing. They look the same. So I don't definitely don't bother. Yeah, so we have the um, all the album cards. Um, I haven't explained much, but at this point, you can tell that I tend to combine different era together in the page. I'm just sucker for night pocket pages. I don't like empty or different partnerings of like six or seven card or whatever on the page. Uh, so I will try to do night pocket as much as I can, but obviously there's certain errors I'll just separate them. But anyway, we do, we have all the album cards. Like I said, I'm not going to point out everything. So we can just move on. There is a actual make star card, I think. Um, I just got it in a bundle uh, when I purchased it, and it's absolutely adorable. So I just kept it. Uh, but rest of these are all album cards. I'm pretty sure this one is the one I make the biggest progress since last time. I've spent a lot of time and effort just to working on my own off collection. Um, yeah, that's my name. And for this one, this is City of On and Off. I believe they only have six card plus the ID. And I just figured it looks really, really nice together in the page. Plus the next era, which is popping, they have a full night package cards. So I just decided to do it that way. But yeah, that's all complete. And for um, Boost Bumps, this is the page uh, i do have this last selfie cards coming so we are completing goosebumps as well and also have all these card i don't know why this one just stood out <laughs> and not aligned with all the other concept but we we just let it slide and then finally this are the message card i believe uh, the middle one is actually a jump up uh, pre-orders that I got from a group order. Um, it just looked really adorable here, so I kept it here. And then we move on to the recent release storage on off. So I am still missing three cards. There, this one's coming, but I am still missing two. I'm still in search for it. So if you do have it, please do let me know. And then we're also missing one of the Kino card. But um, that's basically the last album I need to work on, and we're really close in completing. And I'm super excited uh, for whatever activity they decided to when they come back. Uh, and then we have a little bit larger inclusions. I am hopefully finding a trade for their We Must Love uh, Square Card on Janus, but that's all I have for on and off. And moving on, the next collection I have is I and I. Uh, if you don't know, they are a Japanese pop group, uh, which formed and they produced 101 Season 2 Japan. I watched the season, I absolutely adore this group, so I decided to collect them. Uh, they are pretty hard to collect. To be honest, there's not much communities in the States to collect them. However, I obviously is a big, big fan of Makari Japan. Uh, so I was able to keep up with their comeback and trying just to get their car through Makari Japan. However, since we don't have a lot of access, I want to keep it as a minimum. Um, so for the member I collect, I collect this cutie, Hume. He is the main vocal of this group. Uh, absolutely adorable. Uh, I do collect all the album inclusions. They are very nice. Um, they are one of those groups that always have three cards per release, which I always appreciate it. Um, so we have their first, second, third single album cards. And I also have um, their full first full album. They did release um, their fourth single album 
that I have the cards coming in my next new kill package. So I'm really excited to receive this. Um, in addition, I also collect the HMV pop. So I have the HMV pop from each era and I have the next one coming as well. Uh, this is the, I believe the Light Stay card. I, I got it in a bundle I brought and it was just adorable. So I just kept it here. And then moving on, I also have decided to do kind of an interesting um, things as just get one member per, um, well, I guess one card per member. Um, I kind of did this similarly to 101 that I really like the whole group and every single member within the group, but I cannot commit it to collect everybody. Um, however, with that being said, I do really like to collect at least something out of every member. So I think I would do a full page of each member. Uh, it doesn't matter which era where if, if it's album, not album, whatever, as long as I like the card, I might get it. So eventually we'll have a full group uh, of cards um, in this page. So here I do have a QC card, I have a phone fan card coming and I will fill in the rest. This is definitely the lowest priorities of my old collection, but I am really excited to work on it. Uh, in addition, here are some larger inclusions. I did uh, collect Ohumus the square type card up until the recent era. I have decided uh, since their recent release that I'm not going to collect this anymore. It's just not one of those inclusions I really like and they start to do some weird stuff as well. So I decided to stop collecting. So for the ones I do have, I probably just keep them here for now. But if you're interested in buying, do let me know because I might get rid of these, but just depending um, how easy or hard to sell these. So just let me know if you're interested. So that concludes my INI collection. Uh, moving on, the next one is Golden Child. These are probably my most precious collection ever. I do really, really like my Golden Child collection. And quite honestly, they are pretty high priorities and I've been working really hard on it. However, I kind of just push it back on this binder because unfortunately, I have a really bad feeling that um, they are close to their disbandment or end of their career with William Entertainment. I don't know why I feel that way because there's not many information that have been disclosed on this. But we have members in military. We have definitely a decreased amount of activities in general. William is sending them to Japan very heavily and they haven't got a Korean comeback for over a year now, I think. And it's just like everything really leading to the fact that I kind of doubt if they're going to renew their contracts or not. At least I'm not sure if every single member will do the same. Uh, at this stage, I am kind of putting a very minimum state, I guess. Like, I don't mind what happened with them. Like, if they decide to continue as a group under Willem Entertainment, that's fantastic. If it decided to all leave Willem and just do their separate way, that's totally fine too. Well, maybe some members stay, so some out, or maybe they would do the kind of the popular thing recently, just like some member left the entertainment company, but still associate with their group, and maybe they will come a comeback in the future. So no matter what happened, I'm still really happy, and I will definitely rooting for these boys. Uh, however, with my Goja collection, I do really want to finish this um, before, like, any news break out. So we'll just see how it goes. So for Gocha, I collect Donghyun. He is literally my baby. I do have a large postcard from their recent season greeting. Um, this one, the size, it just fits this perfectly. So I wondered, like, I figured it's best to put it here. So for Donghyun, I collect all his album photo cards. I am mostly caught up to date uh with exception of one singular card i'll flip through i think most of these already exist when we were sharing last time um but nothing too crazy uh i did collect um basically everything this is the only card i'm still missing which is their limited version photo book card uh from their area comeback last year this card are practically impossible to find and every time when i found them they're just like trade only or exceedingly expensive uh, so we'll see how it goes but just for completionists i really do want to just have this car so if you do have it and willing to sell please do let me know but yeah that's 
basically all the Hallmark photo cards I was able to acquire for Duncan. And in addition, I have some additional, I believe these are fan club cards, some of the uh, season's grading cards. I did commit to collect all season's grading cards from Donghyun, so we do have all these laid out. And then this is the most recent season screening from this year. Then the last page I have is basically our pre-order page. These are all pre-order cards from various different era. I was committed to collect one pre-order per era, but it's kind of a loose. I don't have everything and I'm pretty happy with the cards I have so far. So I'm just happy to have this page and this hopefully will grow. But if not, I'm probably going to combine these two pages together and just call it now on page. And moving on, we have one similar page of Sonyun. He was my bias when I first got into Gocha. I gradually switched to Donghyun. At a certain stage, I was thinking about collecting bows, but it's just very hard to collect two members Gocha, and it doesn't. It wasn't this fun, especially when Williams doing million for the card for, I guess Game Changer era, Dara, and uh, like recent eras. It, it's just like they're, they're doing ridiculous with their photo cards, like situations. Uh, so it come to a point that I decided just to focus on Donghyun only. However, I had a good amount of Sonyun cards that are so cute that I cannot get a part two. So I've decided just to keep a nine pocket page of film. So that's the remaining of my Sonyun collection. I do have a few more that I'm that are willing to sell or trade on my Instagram. So if you're interested, do let me know. Um, and then we also have some few larger inclusions, some pre-orders. For pre-orders, I just kept Sonyun and Donghyun. Um, so it's like a little bit cleaner here and the transparent card from Game Changer. So that's a few more larger postcard as well. So these are all I have for Golden Child. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't see this collection grow as much, but I do like to finish off the last card I need and maybe collect a few more non albums, depending on how, what they are going to release. Uh, I also didn't collect any of their Japanese stuff um, with various different reasons, mostly because it's harder to get and more expensive. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have for Gocha. And the last group in this binder is back percent or 100%. They were, um, I believe, a gen, probably Gen 2.5 group uh, under TOP Media. Um, unfortunately, they have already disbanded. However, all the members have basically rebranded themselves as Fave 1 in Japan, and they're just primarily promoting in Japan. Um, for here, I only have um, all their Korean cards. Um, and uh, well, sorry, I do have both Korean card and Japanese card when they were under the name back percent because they were still able to find them. Uh, for the fave one, which is their newer group card, they're just really nowhere to be found. So I probably will just stop collecting him. So this is Rokin, if I didn't say anything. So that's all the Korean cards and these are all his Japanese cards and some of the just posters and larger stuff. And last but not least, um, these are my miscellaneous boy group page. So here I have a dedicated page for Kun. He is my baby, absolutely adore him. He's my number one bias in NCT, OT, whatever now. Honestly, like I was so used to OT23 and then I know that's not the correct number anymore, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so Kun is my absolutely baby. He was one of the members I honestly committed to collect fully. However, I just feel kind of weird. Firstly, I don't really collect NC, like I don't collect NCT albums and I'm not the biggest fan of NCT in general. Like I was thinking about just collect WV. However, it's also reached a point that is kind of expensive. So I have decided to drop that. However, with Kun, it's really hard to part his cards. So I've captured a few of his cards I really like. I do uh, still have uh, some other cards I'm willing to sell or trade, but these are the page I have. And I do really, really want to get his iconic red hair cards from Phantom Era. And then we'll also have some other random things that were coming. So this is just the miscellaneous page for now. Yep, so that's all I have for this boy group binder, and we can move on to my first old group binder. Alrighty, so for my first old group binder, I this contains two of the produce groups. Uh, the first one is CB1. Um, sorry, technically they are from Boys Planet, but 
I mean, you guys get it. Like, it's a produce group for me. Um, so I recently, well, not recently. I was basically a huge fan of Boys Planet. Dive really deep into that hole and absolutely adore the lineup. And here we are. Um, at the time I film it, they just have um their debut. So in Bloom, please stream that song. However, the whole album has been fantastic. I will be f really honest. I don't think in Bloom. I think I have very high expectations for In Bloom, so when it first dropped and we listened to it first or second time, it didn't impress me as much as I would expect it to. However, that song really, really grew on me, and I think that's a fantastic debut song. And that whole album, if you don't like In Bloom, that's totally reasonable, but that whole album, like, is so good. Like, our season, you and I, New Kids on the Block, Honestly, everything. It's 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 been so good. So I'm really excited and they're definitely my babies and absolutely adore. Unfortunately, um at this point because they just have a debut, I haven't got anything from them yet. I have a lot of things coming, their CGV cards and stuff are um on hand, so I don't have uh everything here, but I will have a lot very shortly, so I will just skip this section. And for my second old baby 101. They're the group that got them into K-pop, basically, so I absolutely adore them. I still consider them an old, and I don't ever see them dropping as old status, even after, what, like, five, six years of disbandment. <laughs> oh god, it's been so long. But anyway, so for 101, my bias is Jisong, so I do collect all oh, his album photo card. This one is, uh, I think it's the icon card, but it just kind of fit in the theme, so I put it there. So these are all the album card he has. Unfortunately, 101 didn't get to live long enough to have enough cards, but um, I'm just glad with everything I was able to get for Jisung, and this is the Kino card that he has. And post 101 disbandment, uh, Jisung is an old, uh, well, I don't consider him as old as soloist, but still he is the closest member toward an old other than Hanshik. So I do want to clack him fully. I do really love his solo music as well. Summer Island song of the year if you don't know the song if you haven't heard about it please go stop this video and stream that song because that's amazing i love it so much but anyway we go back to yunji song so i do want to collect fully his solo cards here we have all eight cards from his debut uh inside and i also have nine card from their their diary special mini albums uh, he does have 10 cards from this release, so I'm missing the last card, but it's coming, and I should have it very soon. Oh, and anyway, sorry, I completely forgot. I already put this card in. For some reason, I thought this card haven't got to me yet, but apparently that was lie. So we do have the 10 cards, so we completed the Dear Diary um, selfie photo card set. And uh, we are still missing two for the polarized style, but I'm working on it. Hopefully, I can get these cards soon. Um, the next release, this is his second mini Temperature of Love. This album was released right after his military service. Um, I am still working on it. Like you said, it's kind of sad, but he has uh, nine cards per version. So we have five in this version and we have seven in the other version. So there's still a few to come. This is the album that probably is the hardest collect. I don't know exactly why, but it's just harder to find these cards. So hopefully I can get them to finish one day. And then... This is the um, third mini album, Mille. So we have eight cards per, per album. So we have six here and six here. So it's definitely needing a little bit of work, but we're close there. And last but not least, he's, um, I think it's just a digital single, but it does him with photo cards. So we have um, all the three um, PVC cards, but we're missing a few photo cards that came with it. So that's the uh, most recent release, de December 24th. So that's all I have for GC new solo album cards. And here I just have some random pre-orders and non-album cards. These two are from 101 era and the rest are his solo stuff. Um, I don't collect his non-album fully. These are just random cards I acquire uh, while I was uh, trying to collect his album cards. Uh, I'm more than happy to get more, but uh, there's no pressure basically collecting non-album. And like I was explaining for my AI collection, I'm doing very similar things for 101 as well. So here I am hoping to get a full page of every single member. I already acquired four and I'm working on the rest. I did, however, recently realize that Ohm's recent album, or the not recent, Ohm's only album, 
does not came with a photo card. So I literally thought that he had a photo card that I can acquire, but he doesn't have one post one on one era. So I'm just thinking maybe I should get non albums or maybe one card from his one on one albums because like originally I really want to collect just their solo album cards or group album cards post one on one. It just kind of like a continuation with their career post one on one era. But for own, I think I just need to be a little bit more creative. But anyway, that's all I have for this page. And I have a random Minhyun card from this um, pink version from the debut album. I might want to collect a full set at some point, but it's lower priority. Um, and then we have some of the uh, postcards. I actually have a complete set of all of this larger inclusion for Jisong. Um, I don't know. I didn't plan to collect these, but these just kind of came under through bonus or album post everything and I managed to collect everything so yeah that's actually a full collection and just the last random page um with some postcards and this wrap around which I don't know what they called but yeah that's all I have for my basic ZB1 plus one-on-one -on -one sections and we can move on to my next binder Alrighty, last but not least, our B2B binder. This is the most thick binder, I think, outside of everything. Absolutely adore them. They are my number one old group, and I honestly don't think any group will ever top them. So, absolutely adore them. I did get a little freebies and decorate them, but yeah, we can open up for my B2B section. So, I also did a little clutch here. Please excuse my arts, because I'm very terrible at or any sort of art form stuff like I, it's just not my thing so i did my best but and please do apologize uh for this not looking a little bit messy um so my b2b bias is handshake he is my number one boys he is my number one bias oh my god what's happening with my english today <laughs> so yeah so handshake is my bias but technically i bias every single member so uh, i do collect him uh, more thoroughly in comparison, but I'm going to collect all the six moving forward. Um, here I have his older album photo cards. I have completed this um, a while back. You might already see this collection from last updating video. And we also have the larger card. These are technical album inclusion, so I just put it right after the smaller night pocket cards. And we also have a few of the larger cards as well as the postcards. I did cap random member here and there just like... I don't want to get rid of them and they look really good in the binder so i just kept them and here i am having this handshake bookmark coming that's the large that's the last large inclusion i would collect for handshake so for older album so i'm really excited for it and moving on for my japanese collection so i had actually technically a complete japanese collection by handshake however i recently realized they have some random limited or broadcast cards and stuff so i've left some extra spot um that i was thinking maybe i can feel and found this card and um, so it looks incomplete right now but technically album photo cards have been completed for handshake so we also have all oh, their japanese stuff i don't have their album yet but i probably won't end up buying their older japanese albums and just focusing on everything that released in the future so here i also have a basically a solo section page I do want to collect all solo albums of all members, uh, but I'm not going to collect photo card fully for everyone. So I just dedicated a page for each member. So these are based on age order. I don't have Nkwon's album yet, so that's why we don't have an Nkwon page. But here we have Minhyuk, and then we have both albums from Changsook. And then this is the full page for Hanshik solo. For Hanshik solo, I definitely gonna collect everything for his solo releases. So these are the five cards. And if he release more, we'll have more pages. And then we have the tickets and the sticker sets. And that's the solo page. I do have some albums, but I actually gifted my post away to a friend. So I don't have any Sunjay cards. So that's why uh, he doesn't have a page yet. So moving forward, this is basically my OT7 collections for uh, their six mini album, Winter's Tale. I really, really like this set of the albums and I do want to have OT7 sets. So I decided to collect. This has been a nightmare to collect, honestly. The older albums cards are so hard. Uh, I was already like, thinking about collecting more sets, but it's just so hard to collect. So I decided just to focus in more on their newer stuff. 
But yeah, that's the OT7 page I have. I do have a, some handshake freebie. They're just adorable. So I have to keep them in this binder. So these are just nice place. But we do have 07 members to the Winter's Tale albums. And then moving on, we are going to have our um, OT6 section moving forward. So I decided to collect OT6 since Be Together era. So uh, here, this are all the Be Together cards for OD6, and this row is actually a uh, Make Star pre-order card set. Uh, I just feel like it looks so good with Night Pocket Pages this way, so I've decided to combine them. So this is what I have for Be Together, uh, OD6. And here is my progress so far, which is extremely sad for Winter Wish, but there are a lot of cards coming, so I'm really excited to collect OD6 again for Winter Wish. And yeah um i did also decided to put a mixed star cards here as well just to fulfill these pages so yeah these are cards i have so far and i also had the all the six bookmarks for be together uh, for these larger inclusions on wish and win i probably won't collect every single member um but i do want to fill in the snap pocket page so i'm planning to get handshake both versions so i can get the six pocket page complete for this bookmarks and then moving on, this is a uh, Be Together Handshake Pop section. For Be Together, I decided to collect fully on Handshake's Pop. So I do have practically everything uh, in this binder. And I also have uh, two extra cards from the back. This is the, uh, I believe the Indonesia Pop, um, which is the same concept as the front. So I put it in back. And this is the actual Nkwang Pop that I couldn't get rid of. So yeah. Here we are with the hashtag pop, and I'm also committed to collect a nine pound game page for um, the win I wish. I'm not going to collect everything, well, at least not as a high priority, but I do want to complete a nine pound page. I have the Dear My Muse card coming, and I'm trying to find the other two. So yeah, that's what we have for the pop sections. And then I lied, this is also Tower's record pop from Be Together, so I do have a little bit more here. <laughs> but yeah, that's all we have for pop sections. And then moving on, this is um page basically as B two B for you. So I have a combine of in um I'm inside and outside. Oh, the name blank on us. I've been talking for thirty plus minutes. Please <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah, so these are just random open posts as well as um pre-orders um i just want to keep a night pocket page um there's no really particular order and i have a little bit of every member so i'm really happy with this and same goes to uh, some random photo and postcards and larger inclusions folded posters and here we started the non-album handshake section i have recently decided to want to collect a little bit more for handshake non-albums I finally managed to find a template thanks to uh, Instagram Mutual and now I am able to know what cards I'm missing and which card I want and don't want. Uh, we are making slow progress on this, but uh, here are the cards I have so far. I'm not going to point out every card I want, uh, like from like every card where they came from and stuff, because for life of me, I cannot remember either. So if you're interested, just let me know. I'll figure it out for you. But this is also their recent fan meeting, I believe. Um, I want a group card in the middle just to fill the spot. So, But I really love this page. It looks adorable. And there's a few other cards coming in my next new kill package. And yeah. And then we have the larger postcards and some of the bookmark and stuff as well. Um, so the last but not least, the section is basically season's greeting sections. Um, I'm going to collect everything from Handshake before 2022, I want to say. And then for the last two years, I'm going to collect OD6 just because I brought the season's greeting myself. So I have everything myself. So here I am missing the 2017-2018 season's greetings, but some of them are coming. So I'm really excited. And then these are 2019, I believe. And these are some of the um, full set of their season's greeting from last year, plus uh, a pre-order from Handshake. And then we also have um, their recent season's greeting 2023. I'm missing two pops. Um, I am planning to get two new pops. Just put it here to complete this page. 
but this is the green version and then we also have the blue version which this part and i this is the first time i tried this spread and i really really like it so i think i'm just gonna keep it here and then i have some random bookmarks and stuff from their older season screening as well they do have a lot of items so i'm really excited that i got to store all of them here okay and the last but not least there are some random postcard from various different eras i'm not gonna point it out i do have i don't have a full collection but again i don't care this type of inclusion that much so we'll just put it in the back and yeah that's literally all i have for this video it's actually quite when i talk about it it's actually quite a lot of cards i have but also on the other side um it's been efforts for the past four or five years so i'm really really excited for everything i have and excited for the collection coming in the future i probably will try to update it yearly hopefully so i don't drag it that long but uh we'll see how it happened in the future thank you so much for watching please give a lot of support for zb1's debut and also b2b's comeback thank you everybody have a nice day bye